selling novel is the television event of the year from primitive Africa to the old south so roots sweeps across the panorama of a young America bursting with all the dreams all the joys and all the hardships of a vibrant country and its people through the years of slavery terrorist organization called the Ku Klux Klan the Klan became violent and went about intimidating whipping and killing blacks and white supporters of black equality the Ku Klux Klan became popular with those who felt the white race was superior. They and other secret groups have reportedly killed 20,000 men, women, and children. In the southern states, African Americans were segregated, meaning they were separated because of race. Even though the 13th and 14th Amendments were clear on civil rights, the southern states got around the constitutional laws by passing the Jim Crow laws. These laws and customs stated that it was constitutional to give blacks separate but equal treatment. The problem was the equal part was seldom identical to the whites' privileges and advantages. The Jim Crow laws specified that African Americans were only allowed to sit in the back of buses and had to ride in colored-only train cars. Blacks were not allowed to eat in all the same restaurants as whites. Blacks had to use separate bathrooms, drinking fountains, beaches, and park benches. White and black children could not attend the same schools, and compared to white schools, black schools were underfunded. This went on for many years, but eventually African Americans came forward and protested the separation of races. In 1892, an African American man named Homer Adolph Plessy refused to sit in the colored-only train car. In 1955, a black woman named Rosa Parks refused to give up her seat on a bus to a white passenger. Both of these people were arrested for their actions, but they planted a seed of courage in many others. 
African Americans staged sit-ins and would sit at white-only lunch counters even if they were asked to leave. In the 1960s, dedicated black and white Americans began publicly fighting legal and moral battles for civil rights. Men like Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., Attorney General Robert Kennedy, and Thurgood Marshall were tireless in their fight for civil rights. What's up, y'all? This your boy, Sun God. And um, I know this past week been crazy. The man just got shot seven times in his back and went constant in front of his kids, paralyzed. All he was trying to do was break up a fight. The police come and shoot him in his back. Boom, 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 boom. Then y'all riot over the situation. Remember, they orchestrated this riot. They orchestrated all this. They wanted to be a race war. They trying to distract you from what's really going on. They wanted to be a race war. They got to start stuff in the media. They got to start stuff in the news to get y'all all riled up and hyped up. And y'all thinking with y'all emotions, y'all anger. Y'all don't know how to think. Y'all run out there and get killed. I told you to stop protesting. Protesting is an act of war. If you go to a protest and you are unarmed, you're going to get yourself killed. Three people just got killed at this protest. And they treated the man that killed them as if he did something honorable. Mind you, the man from Wisconsin that got shot in the back seven times, all he was doing was breaking up a fight and trying to get in his car. His kids was in the car. These cops, these demons, these beasts hired by the government shot him seven times in his back. We have a riot about it. Well, y'all have a riot about it because I told y'all to stop protesting and rioting. Y'all have a riot about it that they orchestrated. They set up that whole riot. They set up that whole Black Lives Matter movement. They make millions and billions of dollars off of Black Lives Matter, off of your skin complexion, off of your color, off of your people, and didn't give y'all nothing. They didn't give y'all an army. They didn't give y'all a state. They didn't give y'all nothing, a church, a school, nothing.